Hi, this is Sean Darrington, Senior Director of Product Management here at Exablocks. In this how-to video, I wanted to share with you how to actually uh, pause and start again uh, or resume replication among a given share uh, that is being sent to one or more OneBlox rings. Uh, so let's log in and get started. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and enter in my credentials here. Uh, this is our uh, my instance here locally where I have a number of uh, dev systems set up. Uh, in this case, I have three different organizations uh, simulating like a multi-tenant architecture. If you're a service provider or if you're a larger company that needs to have different organizations, you can do that. I'm going to go ahead and click on mine. Okay, so I have a number of rings already set up here uh, in different clusters, obviously named uh, to illustrate different locations for um, different OneBlox clusters that we're doing some replication to. In the previous video, I uh, shared with you how to set up the initial replication, so I'm going to jump right into the shares and exports and this uh, tile view of the different shares on the OneBlox clusters and show you how to stop and then resume replication. So now, because I'm going to stop replication, I'm going to go ahead and deselect source. This will automatically give me only the target shares. So now I can look at this and I can say, okay, Beam 2 is the target from London. It has the backup storage policy. Uh, here's my last recovery point objective. Uh, so in this case, I'm going to go ahead and, and select this. Now you'll notice the tile names. This is the share name up at the top here, then the uh, ring name or cluster name, and it's sorted alphabetically, New York before Paris, before San Francisco, before Sydney. So I'm going to come back up here and I'm going to go ahead and just select Beam 2. Now under Actions, this is where I actually just select Stop Replication. And now it's going to say, hey, do you really want to stop? And it's going to say Continue. Um, now in this case, I have two-factor authentication enabled on my account. And because this is something that is uh, critical, uh, this is an extra level of security. So if you do not have your one-time password set up for one system, you would prompt it for your original one system login. We also recommend to use a one-time password as an additional and stronger level of security. So now you'll see on the Beam 2 I have a different icon. It's no longer the green flag saying that everything, everything is okay. Uh, it's a red uh, pause button. And I can do that on multiple shares if I'd like to. To begin replication again, I simply select the, rep the share that I would like and resume replication. Now when I do this, it's actually going to pick up from the last recovery point. It doesn't have to start over from the synchronization of the uh, from the primary share to the secondary from block zero. It actually just picks up from that last recovery point and you'll notice that it actually advanced a couple minutes um, from the previous one. So that's as easy as it is to stop uh, and then resume remote replication. Thanks for watching.